This is a patient with negative dysphytopsia. She has an acreose hydrophilic acrylic implant that's been in place in the eye for over a year. And she has pseudoexfoliation syndrome, and we have elected to exchange this lens. Um, we've placed iris retractors here. We've dilated the capsular bag with viscoelastic. And now we're extricating the haptics from the capsular bag using uh, micro hooks. Um, the haptics are removed um, one by one and gently repositioned out of the bag into the sulcus. Um, we've removed the uh, temporal haptics and now we're gently lifting the nasal haptics up out of the capsular bag uh, one by one and depositing them into the sulcus. Once the uh, haptics are uh, in the sulcus, we're now going to move the lens completely up into the anterior chamber, up over the iris. Uh, two of the iris retractors have been removed to uh, facilitate this maneuver. Um, and this is necessary to cut the lens in half for removal. Once the uh, lens is completely brought up into the anterior chamber, uh, we can now isolate it with some viscoelastic and proceed to uh, cut it in half. Here we're going to grab it with a MST microforceps and then uh, cut it with an MST 19 gauge Packer Chang scissor. This lens cuts pretty easily, and uh, once the cut is complete, we can uh, remove each half uh, from the anterior chamber. The new lens being placed in the eye is a Bausch & Lohm three-piece silicone lens. This is a soft port AO. And this will first be injected into the capsular bag and dialed completely into the bag. Once the lens is uh, completely within the capsular bag, we're going to go ahead and reverse optic capture it. I'm going to reach under the um, inferior portion of the lens and bring it up over the anterior capsule rim. And once that is uh, brought up, I can then reach over to the other side and um, Bring the other side up over the anterior capsule rim as well. Here the haptics are uh, still in the capsular bag while the optic has been brought up over the anterior capsule rim in a reverse optic capture position. Once that is achieved, the viscoelastic will be removed from the anterior chamber and also from the capsular bag. I'm going to use a Sinsky hook to gently lift the edge of the lens so I can get behind it and um, now I can reach the viscoelastic behind the lens without having the lens drop back into the capsular bag because I want to keep it in the reverse optic capture position above the rim as it is here. And you can see here that the uh, optic is still uh, in the reverse optic capture position above the anterior capsule rim with the haptics in the bag.
The stability of the lens is tested with a Sinsky hook. Found to be excellent and the case is completed. Here's an image of the patient at the slit lab the next day in the office.